I'm Lenny Magnell, one of the product managers here at Xmark. I cover the Laser Z products. I started with Xmark almost 25 years ago. I actually started as a welder for a little while while I was going to school. I moved over to um, the engineering lab where I was a technician there. And uh, then I moved on to customer slash technical service. Maybe one of the most rewarding uh, portions of being one of the technical service reps was when customers would call in uh, with a question, you know, maybe they're experiencing something that they haven't experienced before with their machine and they're needing help. So there are three or four manipulators, if you will, that we can do to the machine to help uh, with uh, the cut quality of that machine. You know, um, some of it's obviously blades, um, some of it's blade tip speed, some of it's ground speed. Um, but some of the other things that we get into uh, that get a little bit more finite, one of it is rake or pitch of the deck. So deck rake is simply the angle of the blade. So if you look at the front of the blade compared to the back of the blade, if the back of the blade is higher, that's positive deck rake. If the back of the blade is lower, that's negative deck rake. From the factory, all of our machines come with a little bit of positive rake in. So if you take a 60 inch deck, for example, that means that your front blade tip is going to be the height of cut and your rear blade tip is gonna be about a quarter of an inch higher. So that's a quarter of an inch of positive rake. The reason that we set that is that what we found out through all of our trials, customer feedback, and everything that we've learned is that sets us up to be successful in cutting the vast majority of grasses as best we can. But as we said before, sometimes we need to be able to make an adjustment to change that. Adjusting rake is nothing new. Um, what, uh, what the tricky part of it is, is you have to get on the ground, you have to have tools, you have to have a measurement device, you have to be able to see underneath the deck as you make those, uh, as you make those measurements. And it's just an adjustment with tools, check it, and then possibly making another adjustment to get it right. We were doing some development on a new deck um, and we were down in what we refer to as the transition zone. So you get along that Tennessee, um, Kentucky area and down in those areas you may have properties where they'll have one type of grass in the front yard and then they'll have a different type of grass in the backyard and so as they were sitting there and they were trying to make this deck cut as we want all X mark decks to cut they were having to sit there and adjust the rake of that machine um, from the front yard to the backyard and the engineer at that time goes hey look there's this link between um, our two lift arms if we can adjust the length of that link, we can quickly adjust the rake of the machine. That's where we went back to engineering and where we've come up with a solution that we're extremely excited about with the ADAPT system. So what ADAPT allows us to do is it allows us to go through the full range of rake by simply adjusting a pin. So in order to adjust the ADAPT feature, what you'll simply do is put the machine into the transport mode and then using your foot, take a little bit of the tension off of the drive and then pull the pin and replace it in the area that you want to adjust it to. You do all of that directly from the operator seat. To add more positive rake with the ADAPT feature, what we'll do is we'll take the pin and we'll move it to the settings closest to the operator. To go towards negative rake, we'll take the pin and we'll move it to the settings furthest away from the operator. As we use the ADAPT feature to go to a negative rake or where the blade is lower in the back than the rear, that allows us to cut those stemmy weeds because it gives us multiple opportunities to cut that stem throughout the whole swing of the blade. The unique thing about that is we can cut that stem without sacrificing our clipping size. By doing that with a negative rake, even with a standard grass, it gives us multiple hits as we go through that blade swing and gives that premium quality of cut finish. So now as we use the ADAPT feature to add more positive rake to the deck, we have three things that we really accomplish. One is efficiency of the deck. So since the blade tip is lower in the front, only that front blade tip or only the swing of that front blade tip is actually in the grass. So that increases our efficiency, reduces power consumption, reduces fuel consumption. The second thing that it does is it draws more air in from the back of the deck and help discharge that grass over a longer distance. The third thing that we'll talk about is quality of cut. So the after cut appearance, as we raise that deck, it tends to enhance the stripe effect from the Xmark Ultra Cut deck. So with the ADAPT feature, we had to alter the height of cut setting so that the height of cut actually was set off of the front cross shaft instead of the rear cross shaft. 
So that way, as we move through our adapt feature settings, we keep that same high to cut setting no matter where we are. So what that also allowed us to do is adjust the high to cut setting so it's easier for the operator to see and make those high to cut adjustments. We're in Biloxi on the Gulf of Mexico, which we fight Bahia grass, which is a long shoot of grass that when you cut with a mulch mower or a regular side discharge, you fight it. it it pushes over and pops back up, and you have to go over it two to three times to clean it up. Where normally this here might be a tractor job. Well, the guy that owns these properties would rather pay you to go over it multiple times and make it look like it was your front yard when you're done. So this adapt mower will do the high grass, and then it will go take care of my manicure lawns. When we need it, we can use the adapt system and change the angles of the deck. When we don't need it, we can leave it to the standard X mark settings and just cut. But this mower right here will take the place of two mowers on my trailer every day. It's really important to be able to change the rake of the deck easily because let's face it, we can make an adjustment Maybe that adjustment doesn't work and we have to make it another adjustment. I remember we were talking with a farmer in one of the VOCs that we were doing and he was really excited about it because, hey, I've got this two acres around my property that I always mow, but then I've got a couple of acres that I just knock down once in a while. So he can sit there and he can mow that front property in one setting and then go in the back, add a bunch of rake because all we're trying to do is just get enough air to that deck to knock that thing down. Along with that, since we're knocking down a lot of grass, the more rake that we have, the less blade that's in contact with the turf, that helps with the efficiency of the deck. So it actually reduces the power consumption that's needed to mow something like that. So the ADAPT feature has great benefits, not only inside discharging, but bagging and mulching as well. So like when mulching, we typically want to level out the deck a little bit. What that allows that mulch kit to do is it cuts and recuts and recuts the grass by sealing off all the way around the deck, and then it drops a clipping down in the turf that's almost unnoticeable. I'm so excited about this ADAPT feature because what it really does is it gives our landscape contractor or our homeowners alike, it gives them the ability to adjust the rake to match their conditions so they can be as productive, as efficient, and leave the best looking yard possible.